the season's classic, the World Series, where champion meets champion for the highest honors in baseball. And in 1940, that honor once again went to the Cincinnati Reds, who returned this time to face the Detroit Tigers. The Reds showed no ill effects from their loss in 39, and even when trailing three games to two, went back to Cincinnati confident, with Bucky Walters and Paul Derringer set to start games six and seven. We felt as a team that uh, with our pitching, and particularly anchored by Walters and Derringer, that we would beat you. Walters dominated Detroit in game six with a five-hit shutout, and Derringer beat Bobo Newsom in the finale to bring the title back to Cincinnati. And here we are now with into nothing after Sullivan beat out an infield hit, Newsom sacrificed into second, and on Geringer's smash to Werber following a low throw to first base, Sullivan scored all the way from second. With Detroit still leading one to nothing in the last half of the seventh, Frank McCormick drove Newsom's first pitch to the left field corner of the scoreboard for a double. Johnny Riffle, a star of the series, hit the next pitch out to the right field bleacher screen for another double, scoring Frank McCormick with a run that tied the ball game up at one to one. Jimmy Wilson was out on a sacrifice bunt, Higgins to York. That moved Riffle over to third. With one man out, Myers hard smashed back McCormick against the center field fence. Riffle scored following the catch. This proved to be the winning run. In the first of the ninth, the Tigers were still battling as Sullivan grounded out to McCormick unassisted. Earl Averill was sent in by manager Del Baker as a pinch hitter in place of Buck Newsom. As he grounded out to Fry, the Reds were the victors in a hard-fought ball game. This last game was the closest and most interesting game of the series. And this made the Cincinnati Reds champions of the baseball world, forcing the American League to relinquish their right to this coveted title which they had held since 1935. Once again, we have come to the end of a season of baseball thrills that was filled with spectacular hitting, pitching duels, and remarkable fielding plays. Come on out this season. Come out in the sunshine and let your sporting blood thrill to the crack of a bat, the slide to the base, and all the sensational plays that come with a thrilling game of baseball. We'll be seeing you at the ballpark.